I'm at 20 yards. It's an 8 inch gong. Welcome to the channel, and today we're taking a look at the Viper Arms Tactical Kiowa 2.0. Kiowa, Kiwa, however you say it. I'm just going to call it the holster moving forward. But what this is, is an answer to a very complex market of ever increasing options with carry guns. So, for example, I have the SIG P365XL. I'm running a Streamlight TLR7 sub on it and then i believe this is the sig romeo zero it's whatever the inexpensive pistol red dot is and then on top of that it's in a wilson combat grip module i have had a heck of a time finding inside the waistband holster for this specific setup and whether you have a 365 xl just a regular 365 the macro whatever you're probably in the same boat as me on top of that you know you've got your hellcat owners your glock owners things like that and depending on the light that you put on it and sometimes even the red dot Finding a holster that's not from like a local custom Kydex guy is extremely difficult. And this is where Viper Arms Tactical comes in. They are keeping up with all the different options that are out there as far as light combos go, uh, grip modules, red dots, things like that for a whole host of different firearms. So there were a few companies that came up, but this is the one that I kept seeing in the reviews. And there's not a whole lot out there on them as far as YouTube goes. So I thought I'd do a review and let you guys know what I think. With that, holsters are very subjective. That's a very personal topic because what fits me may not fit you. Our bodies are all different. We all carry different ways. Some people might carry appendix, which is, in my opinion, the best way to carry. However, I've had a bunch of beers since my early 20s, and I can't appendix carry anymore, which leaves really not a lot of good options. So I go with strong side carry. There's a few advantages to that, and that's another video, but it's incredibly difficult to find a holster that conceals well and is both comfortable as well. And that's what this had to go up against, which is some pretty hard boxes to check. Usually you get concealable or comfortable, not both a lot of the time in a Kydex holster. Now, before I go any further, I will say another cool thing about their website is that each holster model does have the intended ways that it's meant to be carried. You're not kind of guessing which holster is going to work the best for you. They have the recommendations on there. But anyway, I landed on this guy, and I have to say I absolutely love it. In the past eight or nine years, I've spent upwards of two to $3,000 on holsters, most of those from local guys, both Kydex and Leather. And I'm very particular about my holsters because I carry religiously every day. So this gun is with me everywhere I go or whichever one I'm going to carry. So I have to have a holster that's going to work. And I was a little bit skeptical about this because I'm not generally a big fan of this type of mounting system. It normally prints, but there weren't really a lot of options out there and I went with it. Now that I've got this holster in my hand, I can tell you it's extremely high quality. It's good Kydex. It's no thicker than it needs to be. The mounting system, while a pain to put on because this little hook likes to grab onto everything, once it's on, it's not going anywhere. It is rock solid. And this little hook right here helps to torque the gun into your body, which makes it print less. With the wide body that it has due to the light and the slide, this actually is extremely comfortable because instead of like a traditional carry gun that just has the slide, this has more surface area, which spreads that weight and that tension out over your skin so it's not just digging in somewhere. And then in addition to that, this thing with the little hook arm does a phenomenal job of hiding the gun. Even in a t-shirt, this thing doesn't print very much. And for those that are hyper paranoid about printing, this thing, for me anyway, does a phenomenal job of hiding the gun. In addition to that, the Kydex, in my opinion, has the perfect 
amount of tension. There's no rattle. The gun's not going anywhere, but when you go to draw, it is real easy to deploy. So no gripes there. Reholstering can be a little bit of a pain. Uh, not as bad as leather. With Kydex, it doesn't pinch in as much once you're drawn. However, you still kind of have to fish around to reholster the gun. But luckily, if you're reholstering, it means the threat's probably gone away and you're not under the gun to do it. The draw is the most important thing. This is always in the same place. It doesn't swim around in your jeans. It's perfect. I really only have a few gripes about this holster, and the first one is the lead time. Now, up front, the company did state that they had a lead time. I think it was like six to eight weeks, and they came in under that time. So that's really cool that they were able to get it out before that. However, I hate waiting. I'm impatient. I'm like a child. So good on them. However, just understand it may take a little while for you to get your holster, which meant I had to carry something different than this during that time frame. The other thing that is kind of a con, but I knew this going in, is this is a Cordura material. It's M81 Woodland, and it's Cordura instead of Kydex. So this just has an adhesive underneath of it that keeps it on to the Kydex. And you'll notice that it's starting to come undone in some places. But I kind of figured that going into this, that's just the nature of it. No matter what it is, this is in and out of your waistband, this is being carried around, different humidities, temperatures, things like that. On top of that, you've got the gun in and out of it. It's going to wear off eventually. If that bothers you, just get a Kydex color that you like. For me, I could not pass up God's plaid. So, all in all, I'm very impressed. I like how consistent and stable this is. I like the draw stroke, I like that it doesn't print, and I like that it's extremely comfortable. So I have no gripes really about this holster other than a few nitpicky things which I just outlined. So guys, if you've got a SIG or a Glock or anything like that where you've got some kind of one-off things on it or it's customized to your specific needs, I would definitely give Viper Arms Tactical a look. Again, had a ton of different holsters and I really like this one. It works well for me. And for those who are wondering, yes, this thing is unloaded, but why do you care? If I shoot a hole in my wall, my table, myself, that immediately becomes my problem, not yours. So mind your own business, safety. Nancy. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions about the holster, the gun, things like that, just drop them down in the comments. If you like the content, you know what to do. And as always, and most importantly, stay free.